Off the coast of Tasmania, the wind is calm, the water shallow, and time is short for rescuers trying to save the biggest pod of whales to land on this remote stretch of Australia in more than a decade. The long, dark shapes flop their tails and raise their heads feebly. As long as seven meters and as heavy as a small car, they are not easy to move. This is such a tricky event, such a, a complex event, that any whale we save, we're considering a, a real win. One by one, the whales are pushed, pulled and coaxed off the sandbars by a team of volunteers. They're strapped to the sides of a boat and driven offshore. Or for the smaller ones, they catch a ride on the deck, far enough out to sea that they won't be tempted to return. Not all of them can be saved. So we're going to uh, basically take the, the animals with the best chance um, to start with and the ones that we're able to deal with. So some animals may be simply too big or in, a, in an unsuitable location. This isn't the first time dozens or even hundreds of whales have been stranded off Tasmania, but it is one of the most dramatic and no one knows what draws them here. The pilot whales are extremely social and seem ready to stick together, even when misguided. But there really does remain a mystery as to why whales strand in the first place. Is it just a case that they're unable to navigate properly? Maybe something startled them? Or maybe they're just curious? If the weather and tides cooperate, officials say rescue efforts will continue for the next several days. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Toronto.